What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, folks, you know who I am. Uh, follow me on the Twitter, at Out of Focus, as you can see on the bottom left. Do the YouTube thing with the Red Harry Mist, the Eric and Aston, which is really Dirty Business Channel, and Low Rent Entertainment. Get my Instagram up the top right, Mr. Warmack there, and you know who it is. Today I'm going to talk about something that's going to be astonishing and mind-blowing for a lot of people. I'm talking about this chick right here. Cleopatra. Now, I've always wondered why Egyptian-based people always talk about this chick and talk about this broad. Because what what's I'm going to talk about today is going to be mind-blowing. And a lot of you people are going to get mad when I talk about this. Because... It, it's it's real and like a lot of you're gonna it's 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 a lot of you gonna feel like you know I'm lying but I'm not but let me talk about this broad Cleopatra a lot of these Egyptian based folks want to tell you that we're all Egyptians which which anybody with common sense know that we're not all Egyptians just by the, the use of color some of us are a lot darker than others if you go to Central Africa you see a lot of us look like this we got a, we're, we're predominantly a Western African based people. Let me repeat that. We're predominantly Western African based people. That being said, Cleopatra, these these Egyptians will say we're all royalty, we're this and that, but with Cleopatra, if you wanna go with that, then you gotta you gotta um you gotta your you gotta acknowledge your Roman and Greek roots. And this is why I wanna nail you guys. Cleopatra was part Greek, if you if you listen to some folks. Maybe she was, maybe she wasn't. She had a brown hue to her, a bronze skin. But Cleopatra, so-called her family was part Greek. And Cleopatra was a queen, she was a pharaoh. Or if there's an S on it, I'll say she's a pharaoh. And this chick was crazy. This chick had an affair with two guys. And one of them was right here. Mark Ant that's Mark Anthony. These are two actors portraying. I guess they did a movie over in Britain. England, my fault. Cleopatra's on the right. Mark Anthony's on the left. This is the original scandal right here. And I, well, Cleopatra had an affair with Mark Anthony and Julius Caesar. So, and now all of a sudden, nobody wants to take credit for this chick when I brought this up to him. And, uh, you know, Cleopatra, you know, she's a, she was a god, a queen. I'm like, all right. What about the what about Mark Anthony and Julius Caesar? What happened to your queen then? Oh, uh, well, that wasn't that was that was after Kemet. Look, man, it was after Kemet. Kemet was still being practiced, whether you like it or not. If Kemet, there, there was no period, there was no gap where it wasn't being practiced. It was still being practiced. So when they come to you and tell you about how you're um, you're an Egyptian, you tell them. You gotta honor your Greek and Roman roots. That's why, I and mean, that's why when I hear people say, "Well, go," this one guy told me, "Why don't you go to Egypt? Why am I going to go to Egypt when I can go to Rome?" <laughs> Screw that. Rome's nice. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, I had an invitation to go to Egypt before, and at the time, I wasn't going to do it because that's what this was. Whenever my bark and all that other stuff was going down, I mean, I'd go, but like, if I had my if I had my druthers, I'd go to Rome first. Just because, like I said, I know people. I knew I knew a couple people in Rome, so that's why I go. But these Egyptian-based people will come to you. They will try to use chicanery, lies, and deceit. They will pull Jedi magic tricks out of their ass when you when you call them out on this. So if you if you look at this, and if you don't think the Romans and Greeks were mixed racing with the with the predominantly the predominant black people in Egypt, you're crazy. It just, uh, it's mind-boggling that a lot of these uh, Egyptian-based people won't recognize this. Although uh, they'll, the, they'll wear the chains of Nefertiti and they'll wear the chains of, of a pharaoh and they'll wear the Cleopatra. But Cleopatra was the original scandal because she did this. This is on, this she actually did it. And then when you call them out, they want to come at you and all crooked, all sideways, and all butt hurt. But I'm just coming off of historical facts and data. Now, you can get mad at me 
So, and I really don't care because, like I said, I'm putting facts out, and it's mind blowing to a lot of you people because, like I said, a lot of you just believe what you're told. But the fact remain is, if you're gonna cry about all this Kemet Egyptian stuff, you better recognize your Greek and Roman daddies, because it is what it is. It, 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 it's fact. She had affairs with both of these dudes. And like I said, if you don't think the soldiers weren't intermixing with the chicks, you guys are crazy. So whenever they tell you about this, ask them about the Greek and Roman roots. That's why we're, apparently that's why we're, if, if we really are Greek and, I mean, Egyptians, then this is why we are the way we are in America, because we are our Greco-Roman roots. So don't get mad at me. Get mad at the facts. You know how I tell you. And then now watch, don't, don't try to make stuff up either, so... Egyptians are really Greco-Roman. Well, part, Gre part Greco-Roman, so... I'm out of here. Peace.